Well, the big news is Facebook changed their name. Now, their corporate name, they're now called Meta, which is a short form of Metaverse. Now, this means Facebook's name isn't changing, Instagram's name isn't changing, but the actual corporate name, just like when Google changed their name to Alphabet for their holding company for all of the companies underneath it. But it is a statement and it is a sign of what's to come in the future. Now, what that means for us in our businesses and what that means for us in the mortgage industry is that we are watching Watching and we are in the middle of another major transformation in the way that our customers are going to interact with us. And this is an opportunity for us to get ahead of the trend and be the first. This is like Google My Business pages were 10 years ago when we were at the forefront of that technology and bringing it to you in the mortgage industry. So I want to compare this to two things that have absolutely transformed our lives. As society, as a global society, our lives have changed because of two main technologies. The first is the internet. So the internet came out and it is now mass adoption. So 88% of people uh, now use the internet. 88% of people now use the internet. And from 2000, it was 52%. And if you take this back even 10 years before that, the number was almost zero, right? It, it was birthed and within 20 years has come to an incredible adoption rate. Now, think about your daily life and everything that you do. I mean, look, I'm wearing a monitor that takes in all of my stats so that I can use them. I'm plugged into the internet. It is reasonable to say that we're cyborgs because we are constantly connected to technology. How far away from you is your phone, right? We're all connected all of the time. That is the second piece of technology that has totally transformed our lives. That's your smartphone, the internet, and a connected smartphone, a device to get to the internet, has totally transformed the way that we communicate, the way that we do business, and the way that you communicate with all of your customers. Think about the fax machine and how big of a piece of the puzzle in the mortgage business that used to be when all of the communication went through fax. Now, you can't use one in order to process a deal. Well, that shift happened in a five-year window. In another five-year window from today, this metaverse and artificial intelligence and everybody being connected to the internet is massively going to transform the way that you have to run and adopt your business and the way that you get customers. It's also fundamentally going to change the way that mortgages are processed, but that's another topic for another day. So let's take another look at this graph here. This shows us the adoption rate of internet growth compared to crypto. Now, this is a much smaller chart because crypto really has only been around for just over five years. But if you look at the adoption rate, the adoption of blockchain technology and people using cryptocurrencies in order to process data and to process things. We're not just talking about Bitcoin and the process for money. Blockchain technology is being used for everything. It's being used for insurance. It's being used for... Uh, actual banking and processing. It's being used for massive data warehousing and transferring. It's being used to create entire communities of people. And this decentralized ledger is a fundamental change in the way that the internet works, okay? Now, we need to understand this in order to really make your mortgage business grow. So stick with me here for just a second, okay? So decentralization and everything that Facebook is talking about in changing the name of their company is about not having centralized servers that are owned by companies and owned by these large mammoths. It is an open distributed network, so you get far more computing power, but displaced across a whole bunch of less powerful computers that are running that network, okay? Now, the adoption of that style of computing and that style of technology is growing faster than the internet initially grew. It is growing faster than cell phone adoption is. It is the fastest growing technology that has ever existed on the history of the planet, ever. So it makes sense for Facebook to call themselves Meta 
based on the metaverse because of two very important things. They have shifted away from just being a social media company and having these social media applications. They are now focusing a large portion and over a billion dollars in the, so if you listen to the latest Facebook um, announcement, not announcement, but when they were talking about their uh, stock meeting on the last one, they said that they are going to fund over a billion dollars into artificial intelligence and metaverse technology in a very short period of time in the upcoming future. Now, the reason why is because all of us are connected to the internet. This is a stock chart of a coin called MANA. MANA is the currency of a place called Decentraland. Decentraland is a blockchain-based experiment, let's call it, where developers came out and said, okay, we're going to have land, but there's only going to be so much of it, and we're going to parcel it out in these little blocks, and then we're just going to give it away to our community, and then people can buy it. So now, if you go to Decentraland, and you check that out, Okay, it is a place where you can actually go grab an avatar and go into Decentraland. But it is also a place where you can own a piece of Decentraland and you can build whatever you want on that particular piece of land in the metaverse, right? So this is a fundamental shift of us as people starting to fully integrate with our technology and starting to duplicate what we have here in the real world in a virtual world and having that powered by artificial intelligence. Now, I know this is starting to get a little bit out there, but stick with me here, okay? I mean, the social network that has the most data and the most users is actually coming out and publicly saying, hey, it's one of our main goals to put everybody into the metaverse, okay? Things like Decentraland, where we as human beings are going to start spending more time in a virtual reality than we are in our actual physical reality. And that means all of the goods and services that you and I pay for right now, things like mortgages and lines of credit and refinances, all the things that we're interested in in the mortgage industry, all of those are now going to be products in the metaverse. If you go to Decentraland, just give me one second here. So if you go to OpenSea, and let's do a quick search here for Decentraland. So OpenSea is just a, it's the largest place online where you can buy digital stuff, stuff like the metaverse. So if you look at Decentraland, you can come on here and you can look at a block of this land and you can buy it. Well, let's take a look at the activity of what's happening today on Decentraland. You can see here, somebody six minutes ago just paid 42,893 US dollars for a rare district and with double roadside, a two by two plot in Decentraland. $42,000 US. Here's another one for 8,000. Here's one, a three by three in a district for $67,000. That was 20 minutes ago. Here's another one here, $10,000 for a parcel, right? That was three hours ago. Here's another one that just sold for $18,000. This is today. These are, this is real money. People getting into the metaverse claiming their plot of land so that they can build their meta house and they can go live in the meta world with their meta friends with meta clothing that you have to buy. That's why people are going crazy about NFTs. If you're going to live in a digital world and you want a one of a kind sneaker or a one of a kind shirt that only you can wear in Decentraland, that is an NFT. It's a one of a kind item that only one person can wear and have in this particular ecosystem. So Decentraland isn't just about land. It is also about all of the different items that you can buy in there. So you can buy houses, you can buy cars, you can buy all kinds of clothing, right? It's just like the world world, but it's meta. And one of the largest companies in the world just changed their name and came out and said, hey, we're going to put a major push around creating these virtual worlds 
and being able to connect people within these virtual worlds. Now, here's where it all comes for full circle and what this might mean for you in your mortgage business, because we're all still people, okay? If we're in the metaverse and we're interacting with each other, we can still meet our customers there. We can still market and advertise to our customers there and bring them to us in the real world. All this is, is about community and connecting with people and coming together. And so it is our job to, yes, this is all way out there and this is all way in the future, but coming back and looking at how you're going to grow your mortgage business, you need to connect with more people. And more so than ever, we need to make personal connections with each other in the real world You need to call your past customer database and connect with those people. You need to call the realtor partners that you want to do business with, give them something of value so that they pay attention to you, build a relationship and nurture that relationship over time, right? When you're advertising, you need to be generating customers that are already halfway into the metaverse. That's your best chance to get a client that's consumer direct. And the best way to do that Hands down, the highest quality lead that you can get from the internet is somebody who goes to Google and searches for a mortgage lender. That person types in mortgage lender. You need to show up on the map with more ratings and reviews and social proof than your competitors. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, if you want to know how to get customers from the internet in your mortgage business and get the highest quality customers and get the most amount of those customers that you possibly can, go to chriswebinar.com. That's chriswebinar.com. I'm going to teach you exactly how to use the internet to bring customers into your business. And I've also got some great techniques in there to generate more business from your past customers and generate business from your realtors. You absolutely want to watch that presentation. So go over to chriswebinar.com, register, and learn the strategies for today on how to generate customers. Then keep in mind that sometime, not so off, far off in the distant future, you may have a virtual mortgage shop in the metaverse where freaky token looking people will actually walk into your shop and say, hey, I'm looking for a mortgage to go buy that $250,000 plot of digital land down the street so I can put a $250,000 digital house on it and invite my digital friends from all over the world over to my meta house. (laughs) I can't believe that that's coming. It's unbelievable, but... I'll keep you up to date on this stuff because I absolutely love learning and nerding out on it. But until then, stay focused on the basics in your mortgage business. Head on over to ChrisWebinar.com. Enjoy that training. And my company, Connection Incorporated, would absolutely love to help you go get customers right now from the technology that we have available to us today. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon.